I just got done shopping at Hobby Lobby. They ended up having a 30% off sale on yarn and I ended up getting some yarn and some embroidery floss. And I can't wait to show you all of them on my podcast, which will be Friday or Saturday this week. Uh, it's for tonight, it's going to be knit, crochet, or whatever fiber arts project that you are into tonight together with me working on your projects. And I can't wait to have all of you join me for that. And I will talk to you on the um, knit, crochet, or fiber arts project night. Talk to you then. Bye. Hi, I'm Heather from Paint to Real Fiber Arts. And this video is just a crochet, knit, or work on whatever fiber arts project that you want to work on together with me while I work on my project. And my project today is going to be a crocheted little mini amigurumi that is going to be a candy corn. It's in some nice spring colors. This is the royal blue. This one is pansy purple. And this one is daffodil yellow. This is all 100% cotton DK weight yarn, paint box yarn that I am using to make this project. It's going to have six millimeter black safety eyes with a hand embroidered mouth and eyelashes and cheeks on it. I'm super excited to make this and I can't wait to have some spring colored amigurumi uh, candy corns in my yarn shop as well as for me to have around the house. I thought it'd be super cool and cute to have candy corn all year round. I really love candy corn and I just love seeing it all year round. So it makes me excited to do this. So in the beginning of the video, you saw that I ended up going to Hobby Lobby today and getting a bunch of yarn that I'm super excited. It's like an after birthday present to myself. Happy accident because I ended up going in there. I was like, I'm just going to get a couple and then they had a sale so I was like okay I'm gonna get a couple more than what I usually would have gotten as well as some embroidery floss that I needed for my little amigurumi so I thought hey why not show all of you guys after I uh, got all of it since I got so much of it and I'm super excited about it so that will be on my next podcast which will be either Friday or Saturday this week I also have been crocheting up a bunch of things so I can't wait to show you all these little cute amigurumis I have and take photos of them and put them in my shop as well as Instagram and all over the social medias and so forth that I have while updating things slowly but doing it that's what matters I want to do these um, crochet knit work on your fiber arch project of choice uh, hangout sessions weekly I think would be nice. I want to do them either Wednesdays or Thursdays and most likely will be Wednesdays. It would be in the around like 7, 7.30 SoCal, California time uh, it, which would be, I'm not sure what time would be your time. So uh, that would be the next one I would do is probably next Wednesday if, if the schedule still looks nice and good with that. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is which device I'm going to be recording with. Is it going to be the iPhone, iPad, or this camera? I really want it to be this camera, but the battery is just not really that great on it. It always dies. I have multiple batteries, but that's not going to help me during a live stream. And it won't let me just plug it in and record while it is charging. That's the, what it, not what it likes to do. So I'm going to most likely I have to use the hubby's iPad, which I've never recorded anything on it before. He got a brand new iPad for Christmas. So it should work out great for battery life. It has a really lot longer battery life than the camera. Actually it has quite a long battery life, but I'm not sure with videoing on a live stream how it would be because a lot of time that stuff kills it. So it'd either be a nice short little tester or it'll be a more longer one depending on how the device works out for the first one. But then I'll work it out where it'll be normal, normal length, about 30, 45 minutes, I think, is how long these are going to become. Or sometimes they might be a little longer or shorter. I'm just going to go with it. I can't really plan out a hangout session. It depends on just how it works out. 
anyways I also plan on doing some other fun videos like I'm going to be doing the walk with me's again that is going to be tomorrow as well as some unboxings I'm super excited I got February's unboxing system too as well as March so I'm uber excited I got like four unboxings to do with all of you as well as a walk with me video which I can't wait to do um, I'm so excited I got my last and final cavity fixed today so I don't have to go back there for until April May no it's May sorry because I go every three four months due to just having being more prone for cavities and that way to keep a nice healthy on cavity less cavities or if they are they're like super small like today's cavity I didn't even need Novocaine so that's why I'm able to do this uh, podcast a little I mean not podcast hang out with me session with you a little earlier sorry wrong show i'm thinking of uh but anyways this hangout session with you a little earlier than i was planning so that's why i'm like um super excited to to uh be doing this and not have to worry about having my mouth be numb for like hours so that was worked out super good as well as uh everything's just going good right now uh, what else is going on? I ended up having a really good birthday. I wanted cupcakes for my birthday, so the hubby got multi different flavored cupcakes from this really yummy cupcake place down down by our house. I ended up getting uh, a funfetti one and lemon. I had the lemon one I had on my birthday. It was so yummy, and it had sparkles all over it. It was so good. And then the hubby had a coconut one and a... Um, it was red velvet is which are two of his favorites and then the my son had chocolate that's his favorite and i had the funfetti and lemon so good i love cupcakes and those cupcakes were really good i usually like making my own cupcakes but it's if i were to pick a bakery that would be one it's one of these places that if you want to make your own you can and then you can eat it right then and there or you can just pick out what flavor you want and eat it and, and bring it home. Uh, we ended up just uh, having a nice relaxing weekend and then I had a nice relaxing birthday since it was a weekday. I ended up just relaxing at home, crocheting a bunch. I ended up hanging out on a fun live stream. It was with Lewis and Loops. Uh, instead of doing the book and hook this month, he's doing uh, making monsters where every Monday, he is either crocheting one that somebody makes from a photo or like a painting or whatever way they want to show him a picture of a monster and he's going to either do one of his own drawings or, or paintings as well as someone else's or someone else's depending on what um way it ends up working out and everything so it, he's going to end up crocheting a little mini amigurumi out of this, which is so cool. I love how he just like freely can come up with a pattern so nicely out of his he own head and just go with it. And he does amazing live streams. It was super fun. The chat was super fun. Everything was awesome with it. I'll put a little link to his um, YouTube page down below as well as his crochet club if you want to join it his crochet club is where you can either get some patterns from him which are just little mini amigurumis or you can just um, you can just uh, end up joining his crochet club uh, which is every month where you can get well if you you can either just get the patterns or you can just join the crochet club or you can have the pattern and some yarn come to you every every month once a month and it's like 20 bucks and you get a pattern and some yarn to go with it and any other supplies like stuffing or safety eyes or if it needs a button everything but the yarn everything but the hook and like crochet needle i mean not crochet yarn needle that you would need to uh, sew it up you would get with it and then you get some a nice link to his web page which will uh be where the pattern will be like last month was a was a heart like a real life kind of heart that you can make with little amigurumi eyes and it came out super cute and adorable and the before that was link and then uh before that was a hat which is super cool and oh i and then there was a turkey that was the other one that 
that I ended up getting. But then there was also a snowman going around, but that was in a kit. And then um, this month, I'm not sure what he's doing, but he said next month he plans on doing Marvel characters. I'm so excited. So I'm excited to see what this month is. He always has the best ideas with all of his uh, amigurumis. I will put the little link down below if you're interested or if you or whatnot. I know I've mentioned it a bunch on my podcast, but I just love other amigurumi makers and to uh, join some fun things like that. What else is going on? Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I've been doing some stay-at-home mommy things, just uh, hanging out with uh, the hubby and my son and doing the stay-at-home mommy things when they're at work and at school. And then uh, my son's at my parents' house. He gets out of school early on Wednesdays. And he's actually at my parents' house right now, just hanging out and... Uh, just having some grandma and grandpa time. I think it's just grandpa time because my mom's probably working. And then um, tomorrow I get to hang out with my mom. We're going to do some cleaning, finally. She's going to help me clean up, help start cleaning some of my yarn stuff up. So that way I can have it less be all over the house. And a nice, neatly organized thing. And she's better at organizing than I ever could be. So I decided to have her help me do this as well as return some yucky like plastic bottles to the bottle shop how not fun but uh the fun part will be uh figuring out how i'm going to be cleaning up the house more and making it a lot nicer because right now it's just yarn everywhere and i don't want that anymore and after watching so many cleaning videos that inspired me i'm totally inspired and I guess it's turning into springtime weather so springtime cleaning so I just want to just have a nice clean organized yarn thing so I don't think things are not here when I'm and end up buying more and so forth I'm excited about doing my videos for all of you in the near future such as the walk with me video that I'll be doing tomorrow in my unboxings. I'm excited about doing my podcast and showing you all the things I ended up making over the last few days, including this one might be done. Not sure. And I'm really enjoying uh, hanging out with all of you and crocheting, but I'm going to be letting you all go now. So that way I can uh, just chop the beginning and ending. That's all the editing I'm going to be doing with this because I, I just like hanging out and chatting and having a good time. And I can't wait to do another one of these with all of you. I'm going to be just connecting the beginning opening and the ending of this video and then I'm going to be putting it straight up on YouTube for all of you so I hope that uh, you can join me every week and do this if you would like or whenever you want to play one of these if you want to join it the day of or whatever when I do the live streams they will be up afterwards as well and then um, if you would like to let me know down below what you are working on I really would like to know what you're crocheting together with me or knitting or working on whatever fiber arts project you are working on uh, together with me down below in the comments if you would like to let me know that I really would really enjoy that um, I hope you all have an awesome wonderful beautiful day night afternoon no matter where you are from if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below if you like this video please click like um, if you would like to leave me a comment of some sort, you can. If you'd like to join me on any of my social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, blog, loving, Instagram, that is linked down below. If you would like to follow me on my blog, yes, that will be updated soon. Right now it's not, but it will be. You can uh, click the link down below. If you'd like to join me on my Ravelry podcast where we can get to know each other a little better, um, my podcast group that is, uh, you can click the link down below. If you would uh, like to join or follow me on any of the things that I have uh, not mentioned, those are all linked down below, as well as my email, if you would like to email me. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.